Tsunamis are most often created by undersea earthquakes that originate hundreds of miles from shore. Earth's crust is comprised of massive tectonic plates that spread apart and collide with each other. These forces generate earthquakes of all sizes. As the ocean floor moves and shakes, the energy can be so powerful that it lifts up millions of tons of ocean water above it, creating tsunami waves. These waves may extend far from their deep sea source, spreading from one side of an ocean basin to another. Tsunami waves move in big flat waves across the open ocean, similar to the ripples you see when you throw a pebble into a pond. In the deep ocean, tsunami waves are barely noticeable on the sea surface and often will cause only a small, slow rising and falling of waves. In fact, a ship may not even notice the waves moving past. But underneath the surface is a big wall of moving water that can move very fast, faster than a jet airplane traveling 500 miles per hour. Only as they move toward land do tsunami waves become hazards. As they approach shallower water, the waves slow down and become compressed, causing them to grow in height. Near the earthquake epicenter, the first sign of a tsunami may actually be a sudden retreat of water from the beach, exposing sea life. People on the beach mistakenly walk out to view the newly uncovered seafloor, unaware that very soon a flood of water will arrive. When the wave comes in, it usually doesn't resemble a normal wave. Rather, it often looks like a violent flood of rushing water that can reach a height of 30 feet or more. It can flood inland by 1,000 feet or more and have enough power to sweep people off their feet, lift rocks, flip vehicles, and crush homes.